Hi friends! I decided that I was going to give you guys a preview. We do have an all things coach sale today and I think I'm going to surprise everybody. I pulled some bags. Um, I think they're going to be super fun but I think we're going to auction most of them. I think that'll be great. I'd like to move some of them out. Um, I'm going to give you a little preview here. They asked for vintage. I got some prizes I'm going to give out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I have a brand new with tags. Coach Color Block. Big old Mamba Jamba back there. There we go. Some vintage. Some more vintage. Beautiful Coach bags. Some wallets here. A unisex men's wallet. Or a woman's wallet. Some coach pouches. Some more vintage. I have some crossbodies, some nylon bags, some wallets. I have some project bags. I'm not gonna have time to get to, so you guys will benefit from that. I think of some, some of them so far. Yeah. We're remodeling, please. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I also have. An unboxing to do. I won't get to that today. But there's a lot of the bags right there. And for today, right now, I'm going to surprise you with a little bag and wallet sale that's not Coach. So I'm not showing Coach. Obviously, we're having the sale slash auction at around 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm hoping I'm not late. My dogs are going crazy. I'm expecting a lot of deliveries today. I do have Hobo International. I do have two Madewells. I have two Liebskins. Did I say that right? Liebskins. Um, I have Henry Bendel. I have MZ Wallace. You name it, I have it. I got some Rebecca Minkoff. Um, some of the overflow that I am trying to to get rid of, but yet you requested some of them. I had a lady say, beautiful woman. I like big bags and I cannot lie. So I do have some hand woven ones made in India. I have a big Buddha. Those are only going to be little $20 bags because, you know, but I have a huge, heavy Isabella Fior bag that I think may thrill her to death. So if you like big bags, boy, you're in for a treat with that one. I have All Saints. I have Marc Jacobs. Now, not regular Marc Jacobs. I have a Marc Jacobs collection piece that I'm going to let go. I have so many now. I have a clutch in perfect condition. Um, I figured you guys would appreciate that greatly. So without further ado, I'm going to go in order. Everything's going to be in the description box below because this isn't going to be a live. This is going to be uploaded. So I hope you like what I have to offer today. You know, I can only use PayPal only. So please, when you even if you've bought from me before, it, it keeps it easy until I get a little stronger and figure out this live thing. Make sure you put the number of the bag that or wallet that you are purchasing with your address and with your PayPal uh, payment. It makes it a lot easier. Sometimes I like to use the, the shipping with PayPal because they're holding a lot because I'm a new seller. Um, not always is the addresses for some reason um, being able to be verified. So then I have to hunt people down and, and, and or pray that it is correct. So at least I'll have something to compare it to because out of every four bags I'm shipping out one, they're saying they can't verify the address and that worries me because I don't like people sending me money and I can't ship anything out. So today I'm on shift again. For the next two days. So the bags that you purchase today. Off either the live coach sale. Or this sale. Will go out on Friday. No problem. So. Everybody's goodies that in the last sale. Did go out this morning. I loaded up my car yesterday. <laughs> Went all the way down to the post office. Got it all in totes and got it all to the door and the doors were locked. Duh. President's Day. You don't leave it to Badger. And there's something going on with my hair today. I washed it and it's going. Oh, so, it's, you know, 
yeah, I got some things going on, man. So, if yeah, it is what it is. So let's get started because I do have a coach auction sale that I need to get ready for as well. So it's a really big day. I have some things going on in my life. Um, so I'm doing a mad push because I will be leaving this place. Unfortunately, it's, it's sad, but things happen. We're all adults, right? So without further ado, I'm going to turn you around and we're going to try to start it. All right. Did you guys see the box? See the box I had set my phone on. Oh, speaking of phones, if you like what I'm putting out there, being crazy, um, I need you to like and subscribe. Um, I can't do lives with my mobile device I, or my cell phone or anything like that. You have to have a thousand subscribers for that. So let's get me to a thousand so that I can, you know, let you guys in a little bit more when, when I'm out thrifting or, you know, or things are going on, um, you, you know, my dog's acting weird. It, it, you know, I would like to share a whole lot more with you. Um, I'd be able to share my collection and, 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 and all that. And, and some of the things that I'm doing would be more fun if it was live. So let's get me to a thousand subscribers. So press that like button, press that subscribe button. I'm not hip and cool like everybody else. Smash it. I don't know why they say smash. I wouldn't want to smash my fan, but you know, that's me. But love you guys. So I'm going to move it like this. Huh, you got me? Woo. All right. So what I'm going to start with is a brand new Hobo International wallet in Chocolate. Isn't that pretty? Never used it. I got some awesome ones coming from Hadrian, like with the quilted stuff and what have you. So I don't need this one. Still got the card in there. Beautiful chocolate leather. It's got the zipper. There you go. Super clean. It still has the silica packets down in there. I love it. I love it. It is beautiful. But I'm waiting on some other ones. And of course, I'm a Mark Jacobs junkie. So I've got a thousand of these of my Mark Jacobs collection. More silica. <laughs> So we have two open pockets, or no, I'm sorry, one open pocket, because I can't see. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots, and another big pocket. Beautiful bag. Check these online. They're going for a ridiculous amount of money. I'm only asking $40 for mine, and that will be number one. You know what? That looks like a boo-boo. It looks worse on camera than it actually is, but the Hobo International, their leathers do that. I assure you it is new. I wouldn't steer y'all wrong. Number two, keeping with the Hobo International theme, is this really cool green Hobo International clutch. Again, brand new. I didn't stuff it or anything. It's got the cool turn lock feature on the front. Big old pocket in the back. Nice and clean. You will love this. It is, it is super cool. So inside, it's got one little front pocket. And then it has one, two, three, six card slots. There's Hobo there. See there? I'm not, I'm not sure if this is brand new or not. It doesn't look brand new. Um, I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, excellent condition. But I don't, I don't think it's brand new. So I actually had gotten this. I do think from another reseller and it's just gorgeous gorgeous so this clutch I'm asking $60 and it's well worth it beautiful leather beautiful 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 my next little item is an MZ Wallace nylon clutch super cute super super cute you know, I got this from another reseller. I got this from Hadrian. Beautiful, perfect condition. I love the detail on it. This is going for a ding dongy amount of money too. It'll come. It'll come with a little dust bag. I got one with it. So inside is perfect. 
So if you guys remember this from the Thrift Squad. There you go. So I went through my pouches and that, and I got this. I thought, oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. But then I got to thinking about it. I'm never going to use it because I'm a leather woman. I mean, I got it. It's, it's cute. But, you know, it needs to go to somebody who can appreciate a gorgeous MZ wallet. Again, it's one of those things. I'm afraid to put pens or anything in there, you know, because I don't want to, I don't want to muck it up, man. So I'm only asking $30 for the MZ Wallace pouch. It's a good deal. Perfect condition. I don't think it's ever been used. Got it from a great reseller. So absolutely trustworthy. So my next, now. I don't know if this is a wallet or if this is a clutch or what is going on with this. This beautiful green Henry Bendel. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. It's got a back pocket. Super, super clean. This was a hot mess when I got it. Um, but look at that now. Look at him now. So I don't know if this is for like a little phone. Cause I've got, this may be older. Not sure what this is. I would stick a tube of lipstick in that. Maybe a little compact in here. Because I don't think... I don't know where I stuck my cellular device. Oh, it's in front of me. But I can tell you, I don't think my cellular device is going to fit in that. I have the Samsung Note 20, so it's a big one. But a smaller one would. You got the card slots. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. There. And then you have four more down there. So you've got 10 card slots. You have a zipper pocket. Bend it up and I'll show it to you. It's got a penny in there. That's all yours. <laughs> more pockets. So this is a super cool little wallet thing. Beautiful MZ wallet. The green is, is beautiful. I think I get it closer. It's still not showing a little brighter it's more of a darker green there it is there it is beautiful perfect condition we've got no cracking no nothing taking really good care of him so he just snaps right there Ooh, i'm bad and then right here teeny teeny tiny tiny pen mark i'll try to get that off Super clean. So the MZ wallets, I'm only asking $30 for him. He's got a little bitty pen mark there. So we have next my little Kate Spay little wallet. She's nowhere near big enough for me. The bow, little ostrich detail. Great condition. You go you got a couple of card slots here six here's another little pocket here then there's where your ID would go then of course cash which none of us have <laughs> God forbid great condition super clean little bitty girl so my little small Kate Bay Kate Spade little little snappy thing I'm only asking $20 for her. she needs to go to a good home He's doing really well. Can't go wrong there, huh? $20. All right. Oh, I'm sitting on it. Okay. I still have the little card Aldo thing. So, it has a little... Right there. Little card slots. Super cute. Aldo. Genuine leather, $15. I have this vintage wallet. It's genuine leather. Couldn't find a maker, but it's marked genuine leather right there. Beautiful burgundy color. The inside, though, I do believe that this part here is probably polyurethane or what have you, because this right here, that's not leather. Yeah, here. 
you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven card slots. Back zipper pocket. Oh. You got a pocket here, another zipper for your coin right there, another pocket you can put your bills in, you have a checkbook area where you can put your checkbook, beautiful little wallet. So I don't know who the maker is, so I just got chocolate brown vintage wallet and I'm only asking $15 for it. Can't find a maker, $15. And I just want to let everybody know that I still have the Patricia Nash clutch. Beautiful burgundy color. Brand new with tags. $79 retail. What's up? Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a little Patricia Nash logo. In the box. There it is. It's got a zipper pocket on the side. Of course, you can't see it. It's got two open pockets with the rouge, and we all know. I I, I don't know. It rouge? Bunchied? Yeah, we all know. I can't say it. So, and the pocket goes all the way down in there. Beautiful bag. Brand spanking new. Didn't sell in the last sale. So, today, I'm going to put it on sale for $40. So you can get this baby magnetic today for $40. Brand new with tags. All right. The next is the Marc Jacobs collection. I'm not sure what color this is. So I've got like a pinky brownie. It's in immaculate condition. It's got the gold lock on the front. This is not a mark by Mark Jacobs. This is an actual Mark Jacobs collection clutch. Hands up. It has a great big front pocket. It says Mark Jacobs right there. There you go. Super clean. I will look it over again and make sure it's ultra clean before you get it. And then on the inside, beautiful. Beautiful. We got no wear on the corners. He is in immaculate condition. I have so many of these. The only thing that I can see with these is the zipper is got some some wear. I mean, it works beautifully. works beautifully just might need a little bit of that wax but it's gorgeous gorgeous bag Mark Jacob collection made in Italy can't go wrong with this anybody looking for something for go out to dinner with or just show off <laughs> this is a bag for you and for the Mark Jacob collection bag I'm asking 125 they're going for a couple hundred dollars even on eBay, but I'm only asking one twenty-five. He needs, he needs to go to a good home. So, whoever gets that will absolutely love it. Let me put the stuffing back down in there because I will forget. The back of the lock I just noticed has a little bit, of, little bit of wear on the back. But not on the front. <laughs> I love my Marc Jacob collection. It's got to be a Marc Jacob collection. Because with the regular Marc Jacobs, they got that big placard on the front that says workwear or whatever. I, I don't know. It, it reminds me a little bit of Carhartt. For, you know, for, I, I don't know. That's just me being weird. Hey, you guys like my new sweatshirt? Check this baby out. It's by something Rooster, Wild Rooster or something like that. But Cherry Blossoms. Super cute. I like it. Oh, I'm weird. I like it. So, next. Okay, so the, the Pinky Brownie Mark Jacob collection bag was number nine. I'm sorry. 
I'm not telling you numbers. The All Saints bag. I have a request for the All Saints. This is a two-in-one. This is a crossbody and a backpack. It's got a top handle. It's got a really nice crossbody. And I have not stored it like I should have, but that can be taken care of. It's got the black whip stitch. Beautiful condition. This bag has the front. It's got the front flaps. And then, of course, it has where you poke those through here to close the bag up so nobody's getting into it. I do have, it's like in a taupey brownie. Topi brownie color. Beautiful. Beautiful. All Saints. Has another little clip there. On the inside, you have three compartments. You have a zipper compartment. You have the All Saints tag. Got a front pocket. another front pocket and it has in two open pockets and here are the straps for the backpack and they're super cool so then it has a zipper pocket in the middle beautiful thick buttery soft leather it's beautiful corners are great no signs of wear. I did get a request for an All Saints bag. This is what I have. So, great backpack. You just hold these flips down, and then little tassels. Beautiful. Beautiful all things. Keeping the straps inside for the backpack. So this remo is removable. We'll get a little heat and smooth that back out. It's not a big deal. There's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and put the strap down in here. Can't go wrong with this. Super expensive. Of course, I'm not going to be super expensive. I love the whip stitch detail. So that is number 10, the All Saints backpack crossbody. I'm asking 135. All right. Next, I had requests for Madewell. I have the Madewell dock bag. Super cute. Beautiful condition. Top handles. You could attach a crossbody here if you really wanted to. I got some fun ones. It's got the antique brass hardware. Very antique y. Got it all stuffed up. Something out for you. Lots and lots of stuffing. It holds a lot of the time. <laughs> Grief. Okay, so it's super clean. It, it features two open pockets, and it's open down in the middle. There you go, you can kind of see. And then we have a zipper pocket. Then the, then the made well, can you see it? There you go. Made well. You hear my doggies barking? Wait till the male guy gets here. I've got him outside. Because, dang, I'm telling you, it'd be mass chaos. So hard to do the lives. I'm hoping that they behave like they did with the last one. They took naps. But, you know, we're not going to be able to win them all all the time. I'm going to put the stuffing back in here. Super clean. Beautiful made well bag. I like the doctor. When I have a Kate Spade and a doctor, I have a coach and a doctor. I, I, I like the... I like the doctor bags. 
Beautiful Madewell bag. So those are for my Wade Mills, Wade, Madewell girls who love the Madewell. So the Madewell doc bag is 75 and that is number 11. And I have the big red Madewell tote, the shopper tote. Looks really nice. Inside, it's not lined. It's got zipper pocket, leather, and then it says made well. I've seen some, you know, for, well, online, and some of them are going for cheaper, but they have, mine has a little bit of rubbing here, and that happens with the made wells. I try so hard. You know, but mine, not to toot my own horn, but mine is in a lot better condition than theirs. So we got a little bit of the, what going on in the corners, like with my other Madewell bags. No matter what I do, you, you breathe on them and the corners lose a little bit of color. But mine, you know, isn't all scratched up or have color loss all over the place everywhere else and what have you. Beautiful. So not to toot my horn, but mine's in better condition. <laughs> so beautiful. So that I think this is the big O shopper tote. It's open on the top, so but Madewell seems to be quite popular. So I'm always on the hunt for some good ones, but I'm not I haven't been able to find a whole lot of really good Madewells. And the really cool one I did get, you remember me telling you there was a pin mark on the front? And I thought, oh, I could take care of that. Oh, I certainly did. There's a circle where I tried to get it because I removed the color. So it's going to have to be dyed or what have you. But leave me a comment down below. If you guys want to see that purse, I'll record something, you know, maybe Friday morning for you. I will show you that Madewell bag. It is cool. Um, so if somebody wants to take that on as a project or what have you, I'll be happy to make them a good deal. Um, not that I'm lazy, but if somebody else wants to take on that project, they certainly can. So the shopper tote is number 12 and I'm asking 65 for her. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love how it's unlined. It is so beautiful. Kind of went out of order. I have a... <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff wallet in nice cobalt blue. It is missing, you know, those tassels. I remember I they were really long on this thing, and I, I removed them and thought, well, I'll, I'll put it up. So when I'm done with the wallet, I'll put it back on, and they won't be all ruined. I will find them <laughs> someday. After this is long gone. So. I'm sorry. I will price it accordingly. Otherwise it is in immaculate condition. I just need something a little bigger. I love my Rebecca Minkoff. It's got studded details. It's got a back zipper pocket. Super clean. I never carry change. Beautiful. So you have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, I, technically twelve, but one, you know, I don't count that. That's for your driver's license. And it's got flaps here. There you go. There you go. Great condition. She's not cracking or peeling. Beautiful on the inside. So, nice cobalt blue color. So, if you're looking for something like that, Safiana leather. She is $20. We'll let her go for $20 because I can't find the tassels. So she's $20. And she can be all yours. You could tie something on there if you wanted to. But, you know, we can't win them all. I certainly don't. <laughs> all right. So next, sticking with Rebecca Mink. I got something gorgeous for you guys. Look at her. 
beautiful. It's kind. It's it's true to color. I think it's a beautiful chocolate, chocolatey. Yeah, and the Rebecca Minkoff leather. We got a side pocket here with little tassels, a gold hardware. This, I keep folding them over so they wouldn't be like that. You know, like they say to do, fold them over and then they won't be like that in the morning. But, you know, you don't have them like that. You set the purse down, it's just going to happen anyway. Look at this. So you've got a front pocket, a zipper pocket. And a front pocket. You know, can't see down in there, but it's super clean. Front zipper. Beautiful. Look at these handles. Are just perfect. They're so cool. There is doesn't look like there's anywhere on the hardware. Now these handles are removable. So you got a giant long tassel to get into the bag. Studded detail. Rebecca Minkoff there. In my fashion style. Clean, soft bags to stuff my good bag in. Well, some people wouldn't think Rebecca Minkoff's good, but I like it. You know, I like, you know, my bags to be interesting. Like, really interesting. Um, I like the hardware and all that. It's got the blue. It's got two open pockets. See, it's super clean. It smells good. We got another open pocket. It says Rebecca Minkoff right there. It's got a zipper pocket. You guys, I thrifted a, a wallet the other day. Um, I was looking for... My grand, my granddaughter, a little wallet. So I picked up this little Liz Claiborne thing. It's only like fifty cents. And as I was looking through it, I found twenty-five dollars. One really old ten-dollar bill from nineteen eighty, and three five-dollar bills um, from nineteen eighty-four. Super cool. My purse close by. Show them to you. So, oh yeah, it's right there. So, so we'll put some of these I bought these on Amazon I don't use them to clean the bags I got a whole box of like 50 of them for like $6 it was like on a clearance and they've got these giant tags on them you know it's Amazon basics but you know like I said I, I'm not a huge fan of using all the I don't use newspaper or, or all this paper inside the bags I'm afraid it's kind of color transfer, you know? So, I use the soft stuff. Look, crossbody. So you can take the handles off to use a crossbody and vice versa. Look at her. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So if you like Rebecca Minkoff, you'll be in with a treat with her. I'm asking, she is number 14, and I'm asking $85. You will not be disappointed. Oh, it's got two side pockets. Awesome. It's clean down in there. I found this bag. I was so excited. There you go. Isn't she gorgeous? It's kind of middle of the road. I was trying to tell you guys last time. We, we, they were talking about the Loewe and the uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, with me, um, bags that are so expensive like that would stress me the heck out, man. I wouldn't want to wear them outside. I'd be afraid to touch them. I wouldn't let anybody go anywhere near them. So I like, you know, my kind of my middle of the road. Intricate, you know, fun bags, you know, that I can, I can wear and show off. You know, this is cool. I'd still be walking around going, hey, look at me, look at my bag, you suck. You know, I, you know, if they're that expensive, <laughs> I don't want to be stressed out, you know, you know, wearing it because I'm afraid it's going to get scratched or something. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. 
you know? I, I don't tend to, tend to wear bags that will stress me out. My sister's bringing me a new Louis Vuitton backpack, which will stress me out. So, but her loves me. So, yeah. So, all right. So, the next number, oh, that was 14. Number 15 is the Hobo International. This is fun. I love it. It's starting to patina, but not too much yet. So this leather with Hobo International, it will patina. It will scratch. There's no getting around it. But it's just so pretty. And I, I'm going to heat these up and stuff it a bit more. That's from when I pulled it out of the bin. My bad. You know, it wasn't stuffed. It was laying flat to make room. So it has this cool pocket in the front. You put some snacks in there. You know, maybe something else. <laughs> Buttery soft. Just beautiful bag. It has inside here some... I don't know. My goodness. Four uh, dust bags. Uh, I don't know why. So, I'm one of those. You never know what you're going to find in one of my purses. Kind of like those Patricia Nashes that had <laughs> the coin purses in them. I probably, in my mind, was, you know, trying to put them in the bags because they had the stuffing and stuff in there to keep them safe. And then forgot about them because, you yeah, know, that's what I do. Inside, hobo. It's got a back pocket. I love the this, so you could really, really. I don't know. I don't see where you could attach a crossbody. You may have to stick with it as a shoulder bag. But inside, it has two open pockets. And on the other side has a zip pocket that you know, I already showed you. It says hobo. And then there's a bigger pocket right in front of it. So, there you go. Ha! Huh. Well, look at this. All right. <laughs> you should see her pocket. Hey, if you can do it, do it. There you go. Get you open pocket. Super clean. No science experiments. Grossness. You know. Things you tend to find, you don't want to put your hand in a bag. So, here you go. Beautiful condition. Starting to patina and get softer. Can't go wrong with that, man. Got the bubblies. I don't think we need all that bubbly in there. I save these. Whenever I get these, I save them. They're the best. So, I pop them eventually, but you know, still super slouchy, Hobo International. So, I have to work these out. Uh, it's from being stored, and I apologize for that, but it's still gorgeous. So, that is $60. That will be number, number 15. Next is... The people were asking me about this one. This is what I call my little cube. My little my little square thing. This is a Liebskin. And it's in like a sea foam blue, green. The handles are so cute. It's just the cutest little bag. So it has clearly three areas. If you like Liebskin, you're going to like this. You have a front pocket. Back pocket looks exactly the same. It says Liebskin Berlin. I love the the lining in this. It looks really cool. And then of course you have your big one, which I've got stuffed with gills because it is a QB. And it has also da -da -da, 
the strap. Where you would put the strap? But it come. Oh, I'm probably just hook them onto here. So, but it does come with a matching leap skin, same color, crossbody strap. So inside, it's just wide open and super clean. So super cool. So I'm assuming that you would just hook it on. And wear it as a crossbody. That is really cool. Really nice. So the Leapskin Cube in blue sea foamy cuteness is $65. That is number 16. Okay. I'm going a little quick, I know. But we have the All Things Coach. I'm going to surprise them and let them auction half, half of them. Leap skin. Love it. Next is my leap skin hobo. Big old gunmetal gray brownie. Big old pocket in the front. It's got a zipper detail. There we go. That's not a zipper detail. Girl, you better get your eyes checked. You know, I've been putting my eyeballs on. There's leap skin right there. She's an older bag, so she's patinaed nicely. Does come with the crossbody strap. It's big. It's chunky. Wow. Large and in charge, this one. Put it right here in the front pocket. So it does come with crossbody strap. Zipper pull is really cool. Check that out. There you go. It's already patinating, but it's patinating really cool. I love leap skin. I have a lot. So inside, let's take some more of this stuff out. Okay. Has two open pockets. Super clean down in there. If you can see it, because this is a very slouchy, slouchy bag, and it's not. Yeah. No, it doesn't want to cooperate. So let's see if I can. <laughs> we will win. Okay. So leap skin there again. Zipper pocket. Then on the other side, you got your two open pockets. No grossness here. So, put it back in there. But, it has some, you know, it's got the... It's a big thick leather and it's like a gray and it's starting to patina super buttery soft extremely slouchy awesome bag so this leap skin they call it the well call it the brown hobo but mm, it's not it's a gray more like a gunmetal. I don't know what I was thinking brown. I'm weird. But there you go. Now, this baby, because the patina isn't for everybody and what have you, and it's, you know, but they love leaf skinned. You know, I'm going to let it go for $50. Beautiful hardware. So she's $50. Next is another Hobo International. It's kind of a taupey gray. It's got cool handles. Cool. It has its own crossbody strap and it is super cool. It's got beadwork in it. It is really neat -o. So it's a real beautiful bag. Super slouchy. Super big. Chunky hardware. Buttery soft. Buttery, buttery soft. If you like Hobo International, you're going to love this bag. 
starting to patina beautifully. And I've got a lot of stuffing in this bad boy too, because dang! Okay. Beautiful, and the inside. Okay, we're not gonna play with it. Oh, oh this one's attached! Okay. All right, so over here, we have two open pockets. Then on the other side, you have two more open pockets and a zipper pocket, big old zipper pocket. Then you have the Hobo logo, beautiful bag. No science experiments in there, dead things. This is a cute bag. I think like the strap alone is probably worth it, you know? I'm gonna throw some more stuffing back in here. It's hard to show a bag when it's all flat like that, when they're super, super slouchy like that. So, okay. Super big. It's a little higher up, but I like it. You can put more fun things on it because it's removable and you can use this on other bags. It's got the hobo logo. Really cool bag. So the hobo international is number 18 with the tote brown. This is $80. beautiful can't go wrong with that those are with the straps like this well I've seen some similar to that on eBay and what have you and they ain't got cool straps like that but they've got the the same kind of handles and they're not in as great condition as mine because mine started patina in that but you don't got the rubbing and all that crap on the corners you've got an intact bag this will scratch this will patina it just gets more and more beautiful. So $80 for her. And for the lady that said the loves the Isabella Fiore bags and likes um large. She likes big bags and she cannot lie. Okay. <laughs> I got a treat for you. And I didn't stuff it. This bag alone weighs five pounds. Look at this. <laughs> There's a Isabella Fiore tag. Huge, huge bag. And it is heavy leather. No joke, man. This one will probably cost me $20 to ship to you. It alone, with nothing in it. Look at the details. I mean, good grief. So. I would probably crossbody this bad boy, which you can. I don't have one for it, but I can find one because we can. So I don't know if it came with one before, but you would almost need to. Good grief. And inside, super clean. And it has two open pockets. And on the other side has a big old zip pocket. <clears throat> zip pocket. Well, I can get a workout with this baby. And then there's your Isabella Fiore tag. <coughs> and there you go. You asked for a large bag, intricate, lots of hardware. <laughs> the braiding goes all the way around. <laughs> They just don't make these anymore. This is no joke. So for this Isabel Fiore, um, you don't see them like this. You, you can't. They don't make them anymore. I would like $95 for her. There you go. There you go. Worth every single penny. 
So, these are the two bags I was telling you about. The vegan, they wanted the boho. There you go, this is the big Buddha. Vegan leather. And also the India tote. Got the tassels. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. The stitching on it is amazing. It's got little sparklies. Little tassels. It's even sparkly on the handles. So it's lined. And here it's like made in India. And it's got a serial number. But that's all it has. So looking for boho. Looking for something, you know, that's real intricate. These are what I have found. Beautiful, beautiful condition. So if you need one of these bohos, catch your eye. If you like the Big Buddha or you like the India, either one. You can have either one for $20. So it's got the tassel. It's got the Big Buddha charm. $20. There you go. So that's the boho. Last but not least, I didn't know if anybody would be interested in this. This is a size 8. I used to could be a size 8. It's orange. It's coming off like a red. But this is a Michael Kors jacket. And it is gorgeous. Buttons. I would try it on, but I can't because I am probably double that size now. You had a spare button here. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. What are those called? Like the pea coats? It's like a bright orange pea coat. There you go. Michael Kors. Says size 8. Tag. Says dry clean only. <laughs> so it is 62% wool. So this is a wool coat. All other materials, polyester, lining, polyester. So there you go. And it's wool. So if anybody is interested in this, it'll cost $25 to ship. So I can get it wrapped up and get it wonderful. Beautiful pea coat. Michael Kors. Beautiful condition. There's no holes, no rips, no tears, no stains. So she was taken care of. So if you're interested in her, the jacket's sixty dollars. And I will send that. Okay. Right. So any questions, comments, cheap shots, uh, go ahead and get a hold of me. Um through Kendall and Badger at gmail.com. Um, you can check me out on uh, eBay. I have eBay. It's Lady Badger on eBay. I've got a few things listed there. But you stay cool, guys. That's the end of it. Um, everything's going to be down in the description box. So please get a hold of me. It's not a problem. Have a great day.